I am Chas Davis and I ride for the Aruba.it Ducati team. Yeah, obviously it's great to be back in Aragon for a second weekend. And yeah, it's a circuit I've always had, always had great results. Uh, I've always enjoyed the track. And I think, as one of my friends once said, wise words, I think, the secret is there is no secret. And I think it comes down to enjoyment above everything. Aragon is one of those tracks where I could just keep putting the fuel and keep doing laps. Unfortunately, no big uh, scoops here, but the secret is to have fun, I think. Uh, I evaluate my 2020 season, obviously it's been short so far, but um, it's been kind of a mixed bag. We didn't start very strong in Australia, but we've, we've gained um, some good results since. In Jerez, it was a really strong weekend for us. Portimao was okay, and then uh, last weekend in Aragon was, uh, was another great weekend for us. So I think we've shown that we've got good pace, but we need to clean up certain aspects of our race weekend. But overall, I'm satisfied. The championship, obviously, at this point, with a short season like this, is probably, possibly a little out of touch, but never say never. While there's still points to play for, we're, uh, we have a fighting chance. Obviously, the goal before the end of the year is to, to win races, to try and definitely consolidate a top three finish in the championship. But um, I think the main thing above all is, is race wins. So being alongside Scott, uh, it's been great so far, to be completely honest. Uh, he's super strong as a rider, he's fantastically talented. That's sort of who you want alongside you. It's never great bit getting beat by your teammate, but it also, it's great motivation inside the box. When you've got somebody strong alongside you, it's the opportunity to improve, to learn from them, they can learn from you, and it works both ways. Yeah, I suppose in some ways, not being in the, the fight, the, the tight fight between Johnny and Scott for the championship, I suppose in some ways that is pretty decent situation because the pressure is a little bit less. Now I can afford to, to stick my neck out for race wins and they have to you know, consider their point situation. So yeah, definitely, I think I'm in, a, I'm in a good position. Yeah, we'll be ready to pounce if anything goes wrong. About my future, what can I tell you? Uh, not too much at the minute. Yeah, I'm discussing obviously to stay with the Aruba Ducati team and I have other options within the paddocks. I'm, I'm evaluating everything at the minute without trying to rush into making decisions. I'm trying to find the best fit for me to, as I said before, exploit all my strengths. And yeah, we're something we're working on and hopefully in the, in the not too distant future, I'll be able to tell you some more. Obviously I've had a fantastic uh, run with Ducati now. I think this is my seventh or eighth season with them. I really feel like we're uh, a closely knit team. It's very much like a family atmosphere. So there's, um, there's a great feeling inside the box. A grow Growing up as a, a um, British person watching World Superbike when it was in, in the glory days of Fogarty and, and so on, um, those guys were racing, a lot of the top guys were racing Ducati at the time. So it's always been that brand where I've associated a lot of my childhood with and um, yeah, I'm immensely proud to, uh, to be a, I think a 26 time race winner, 27 time race winner for Ducati and had that held a factory seat for, for as long as I have. Uh, it would be super special if we can get another win here at Aragon. We've, we've got seven so far in this circuit and it would be nice to get an eighth, a ninth or a tenth. So yeah, but we just keep the feet on the ground, work on, uh, work on our race pace. We've got to stay focused, not rely on our past experience too much here and uh, work on improving our package for them uh, 18 lap races on Sunday.